The reality of someone walking through the front door of a restaurant with a basket of fish saying, here's what came from the port, and the chef saying, oh, well, I'll fillet it and cook it with care and serve it to some guest who's sitting in the dining room is almost a, a fantasy. And yet, it's that dream that is being realized through an organization like Dr. Dish. We pay Dr. Dish uh, in advance. That in and of itself is a groundbreaking relationship. We've paid them for 100 pounds of seafood. We don't really know what that seafood will be and only find out week to week. You surrender your right to ask for anything. So you can no longer say, I want swordfish or I want tuna. I want salmon, I want shrimp, all the things that people want. Um, there's no more I want. To think that you can print the name of a fish on a menu and then demand that from the ecosystem and from the fisheries, that very unnatural way of thinking is ultimately what puts very directed, heavy, targeted pressure on certain species and causes those stocks to decline very rapidly. The fishermen are making decisions about what's most abundant in the local ecosystem. It actually turns our system on its head. The openness to receiving what's available uh, seasonally rather than saying, this is what our guests want to eat. The sophistication of the dining public is, is now demanding that any great restaurant should have intimate relationships with the producers that it works with. If you look in a Dr. Dish model, there's only three hands in the whole chain of custody, as opposed to in the industrialized commodities market, there may be 20, 30, 40 sets of hands. And the whole way that fish is losing quality. If you have accountability and you actually know the source, this whole cascade of benefits comes from that. So you see it in the way that Dr. Dish fishermen behave and the way that they care for the environment and for their fish and essentially being connected to the provider and the consumer, having a direct line of vision and a relationship in that space. Once we've, we figured out that the, the model worked, it began to scale very quickly and now we've got Dr. Dish restaurants, port of fishery programs expanding all throughout North and Central America. These are the early, the early steps of uh, imagining a new future. There was a time when commercial fishermen were viewed as, you know, providers of food for seaside communities. They were heroic kind of positions and very valued in the community. We lost that. So this is a revival of that type of appreciation. If I had to summarize who we are and what we do, we're connecting people who eat in our restaurant to the world in which we live in. <laughs>